and entertainment, politics, and social media. I am your man, Jamal. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you today? Yes. And y'all talk about me stumbling. Shut okay. up. I wasn't ready for me to it down. Biggie oh. Bands in the Mickey building. Biggie the best. Right. Brother Bob the building. and Roxy. Y'all. The best. How y'all doing today? I'm good. That's wonderful. The patrons, the, the patrons yeah. lost, so I am blessed and highly favored. I'm happy. Y'all. It's a good day. <laughs> but um, so the topic for today. To start it off, that's the one at the top. I don't know if y'all still on air what? with us when Brother Ma went off about how he wanted to talk about celibacy <laughs> so bad and how his topic. He said, "Can it be my topic?" He's so happy. Yo, shut and up. Yeah, go ahead. Shout out to Brother well, Maul when he, he, he <laughs> you know, and then he had to custom mic the other week, didn't he? No, when he I could really wrap did. it up like he was singing. Oh yes, man, yes. when he was doing yes. that, oh man. Oh, y'all playing with me. When, when was the Hurt Bop edition? Was that you? That was last week. That was last, last week. Bop okay. was Hurt Bay. He I'm was good, Hurt Bay last week. In case y'all was worried, I'm good today. I love y'all. I love them. <laughs> I love everybody. But the topic. I love everybody. It is celibacy, but we want to talk about specifically why men find it so culturally and generationally hard <laughs> to refrain from sex and relationships and probably pay, plays into their infidelity sex as well. Sex is great, if I might get out on the We're record. Not We're, not We're not denying that sex is great. We're not denying that get on the record and say it. Jesus We're not denying sex is great, but why is it that men can't control the urge? They can't keep their man in their hands. Sure, and, and for me, and for me, I come from it from a thing like most people tell you that I am a control freak. Like I am the, the definition of no, not like that. I I'm a definition of an alpha male. When I say I'm a control freak, I don't try to control other people and women. I am a control freak of like my space and my life. Okay. So being able to, to me, like not being able to control my sexual urges to me, that's like a weakness. So it's never like. I can go, like, me and a girl can date for six months without having sex. Like, I'm not going to, like, climb off the wall or go screw some other girl. Like, but I understand like the urge. I understand the <laughs> urge of other dudes because I've been there. Like, yo, like, when you, like, not having sex for a while is, like, almost like withdrawing from a, an addiction. Like, your body goes through withdrawal when I've been there. Do you think there. that y'all urge is worse than ours? Hell, you yes. You think so? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Do you really think so? I really, I really think you, so. I can tell you that it's not. How, really how do you, so. you've it's never, like, not. before we go there, like, can we agree that I've never been in the body of a female, right. you've never been I, in the body of a male, I hope not. so we cannot. I haven't had a vagina, right. but so I've had a vagina. Have, we <laughs> can't, <laughs> we can't, we can speak on today, but we can't accurately, definitively say that yours is better than mine or mine is better than yours. I will say as a man, I feel like y'all can't possibly understand the urge I that our body goes through. I just don't believe if y'all had a penis, if y'all walking around with a penis, I don't think, I think y'all would sympathize with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like just because you have a penis, that means that you need to go around and have sex with everybody. That's not what you're saying. But I feel like but that's, that's what you're saying. Saying. <laughs> that's not what you're saying. I just want to get it. I want to get the record I straight. See. Is that what you're saying? We do. I'm not saying that. Okay. That's what y'all do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take that back. Actually, that is what y'all do. And I'm being honest, but y'all reasoning for it is that because. That's what men do. Like in the young, in the young age, in, the, in a teenager, I will say this: in a teenager, in a teenage stage, when we first start having sex, it's new. So we crave it so much because but we're y'all grown wait, men. wait, listen, let me tell you something. It's new. We're trying to teenagers. we're trying to learn skills. We're trying to get the experience. We're trying to figure out the sensation and all this other stuff. Not trying to make babies, right? Right. Okay. Not trying go to go make babies. Go ahead, go ahead. As an adult. I will say it's, it, it's incumbent upon the man to kind of reel some of that back. Because if you allow the urge to run wild, then you have no control. That's why you 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 claim to be in love with a girl and you want to be with her, but you can't stop fucking Tanisha Tanara and Sasha around the corner. Because like you allow your penis to go before common sense. So it's like they start we started off early just innocent trying to, you know, figure out our sexuality. But then it comes this thing where we it's almost like your sexuality. you know what I mean. Stop I it. Don't don't don't, don't twist don't. the words. Nigga. This is serious. When I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but in a sense, like you're talking about teenagers, but I'm talking about right now because we're. What but I it see, stems from that. Okay. Yeah. But that's like saying like my intellect now doesn't stem from what I did as a teenager. It comes from there. That's the building block. 
It when, is. When did you teach your own to brother you Jamal? To be addicted, because that's what it seems like. It's an addiction. Some dudes, no lie, and I, I know Eric no, Nay made a joke out of it when he cheated on Holly Berry, but I, I feel like, like I feel like just like we talk about mental illness is not a, okay. a big thing. We, sh- we talk enough about in the black community. I feel like sex addiction, it's really something we really don't talk about. I feel like some of these people are addicted to sex. Not just the dudes, but the girls. But dudes get more of the blame because they're so unfaithful. But it's a real problem. I asked that question today. I said, if a guy, if you sat down on a a date with a guy and he said, you know, I have a sexual addiction. And the response just was too funny because it's like, that's not looked at like, uh, you know. That's a serious thing. That's not a serious thing. Some of the responses, I ain't said it. Some of the responses, one girl she you feel me she was like listen and what makes you think we about to have a whole bunch of sex it sounded like this and i'm like wait what are you, what are you talking about why did you why did you feel like i was talking about in the same way you like yeah. a mental, a health, condi- a mental, yeah, health, a mental health, health thing yeah and i seen like no no guy that would have sex you don't want to tell a girl that because they don't they don't got no sensitivity towards that because it's like all guys want sex and that's just what, but it's like okay it are is. you coming out and telling this female that you have a sex addiction problem and you want to either fix it or you just telling her that because you just letting her know that you just gonna be going crazy i'm saying but how do you i mean like because it's like i, I think it's something fixed. that definitely needs to be brought up up front yeah true but it's like i mean okay what does this mean like it leaves you in a rock and a no, hard place no, like am no. i supposed is to have com- sex with is, you all the time if he's am coming to you letting to you know that his libido is high and that he requires a lot and that comes from another thing a lot we don't never talk about how some of the infidelity in relationship stems from people having different sexual drives Girls feel as though but it's sex like addiction is deeper than sex. True, true, true. Sex what I'm saying is like, outside of that is like dudes want to like say he did come to you and say, "All right, Nikki, like I got an addiction, like I want to be with you, but you got you got to comp- make it a compromise. You got to compromise with me. I know you're not used to having this much sex, but you got to meet me halfway. Yeah, no, not even, not but even. But it would be really. like okay, you're you're addicted to the sex. That's fine. That's cool. I mean. Then it would be like, well, how far are we willing to go? I'm not eating your butt, kind of thing. But I'm talking I'm about just, normal I'm sex, just Nikki. Like, 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 I mean, you, know, <laughs> Jamal, you know, Jamal do not like that type of sex. You don't like that type of sex. You don't like that. You know, it's like you like no kind of sex addiction. You just like having sex all the time. I can't go live with my page, but. <laughs> but it's different levels, same, saying, same. But what I'm saying is is that are you telling me this because you want to be with me and it's going to become a point where you having sex with me is not enough? Like, that's where I'm But why can't, yeah. why can't he lead with something that may become a problem for you? And this is and, and when I say that, I don't mean that a lot of sex is becoming a problem for you. His 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 fighting that urge to want to have sex with you might be, you know what I'm saying? He what, might, what if this is something, something, maybe he's like one of those people It's different faiths. He's like... When I'm in a relationship, I don't know. and I'm, I'm into the, no, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is like he's a sex problem. He, what I'm so, saying is, say he like, all right, know. when I'm in a committed I relationship, I want to smash my girl seven days a week all the time. Sex addiction does not work like that. It does not work like that. Most people, most people who are addicted to sex don't even really want to have the sex. They want the release that sex gives. Wait, but what is? That's like saying they're depressed and they're depressed because can I finish talking? They're depressed because they're addicted to sex and they have sex to make that feeling go away Did then after they right? get there not they feel horrible about themselves oh, and to make that that, that go away they have sex <laughs> again it's like an ongoing cycle but so isn't that like a, a, a functioning like, yeah, yeah. A I mean, functioning yes, alcoholic it's, it's, it's just like that it's exactly right. like that but can you be a sex addict and happy about it I feel yeah, like I feel like you sex. can. I feel like That's, you can do it. Like if you're happy like about it then you probably have a healthy relationship with sex I'm not happy I'm not happy about it why not? Because he ain't having because sex. Because I'm in a I'm in a single stage right now. I'm not even trying to have no. I'm not even trying. I'm so not trying to do that. No, I have my slip ups. I'm not good at. I'm not good at being addicted to sex. <laughs> what? They are really addicted to sex. They are no chronic masturbators. Me. They can't stop watching porn. Okay. Tasty blacks, y'all. <laughs> Damn, nigga, that was that you. I mean, I feel like. <laughs> I, feel like I, I mean, I feel like I don't know. Oh, we I feel got like two I different types of people. I feel like I started at a young age, and it's real bad. Like I say, I put it on Facebook. You know, I used to masturbate to Jurassic Park. Shut yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. This is weird. What type of shit is it? It wasn't the dinosaur. This is your first time characters. coming on. Was it Jeff Goldblum? Was it Jeff Goldblum? Was it Jeff Goldblum? 
With who? Which one was that? The white guy with the with the with the nose. It was probably all of them. That's why you still okay. But one of our was just said. <laughs> one of our was just said. Sexual addiction is serious. It's a mentally and physically exhausting. It is. Thing. And that's what the tone I was trying to take into the conversation. Like when I make a question on the Facebook, and we often don't really get into it because. If I ain't put opinion out, we ain't really get to what I was really trying to hit at. And the day I was really trying to hit at, that's something to be sensitive to a guy yeah, telling you that. And the fact that, that the help. fact that it was the fact that the tone was like, "Whoa, nigga, are you trying to say you trying to fuck me every day?" Like, it's not educated if you ain't me. had sex with me, like I can't tell you about what's going on with me and this and that. There, we can have those conversations. But is there a, not even a before cure, we had sex? You told to me that oh, that. I give good head and I give you. You can offer all that, but I can't offer what. You know, might be troubling me. You they had therapy for sex addiction, like Kurt Franklin. He had to go to therapy for his addiction. Right, but he got to find somebody sensitive to him. And his, his wife situation. is sensitive to it. But all I'm saying is that his wife is sensitive. Like, like, but if I don't have a wife and I got a sexual addiction, I think it's <laughs> best for me to tell the girl but, that I'm dealing with, and not after we had sex. Like, look, yeah, that was good <laughs> last night, wasn't it? Yeah, but, but I'm gonna Bob's eat that point speaks four <laughs> times a motherfucking day. <laughs> Bob's <laughs> point speaks to a higher thing, and this is not to criticize or make this a, a woman bashing thing, but how insensitive and that black women don't take the the struggles maybe mentally that black men like y'all don't believe we can have of having addiction. a penis we can't we can't have a mental addiction y'all don't believe y'all use y'all think we use it as an excuse when some are really struggling with some shit right right because men right. just because men just like sex I, and that's all we want for you i don't feel like women don't sympathize i feel like they gotta protect sense. themselves no not even protecting yourself but i feel like it has become if you want to take it back is that as men, y'all were taught to hold your emotions in. And at times, I feel like that can be a blockage where it's like the miscommunication can happen. No, but what I'm saying, when a dude is expressing that's, himself, that's why is it not taken serious? That's my but point. It's like, because how you think you're allowed to fucking much all the time? It's all about the approach. Another, another, another generalization. How do you assume this I said that's because that's what we think. I don't think you're allowed. Okay. Okay. But, but how are you approaching it? That's why it happens. Are you approaching it in a joking manner? I feel like a lot of dudes don't come at it in a way. Because how hard is it? You know how hard it is to be vulnerable without worrying about your girl being a joke about it? What would you do, Robert Jamal? What you mean? If I had an addiction? No, no, no. If you sat down and the woman came out and said that. Yeah, I like, really wouldn't be happy. Was she had a sex addiction? I asked my husband that question. I can, I can honestly you know, say, I can honestly say, and I, I guess I, I would be considered, <laughs> I would be considered the most religious one on the group on the panel. Yeah, but like, so. pull out that that ooh, not, huh? not the one, but I would. the power of Christ stop. compel you. <laughs> I would, I would honestly because. I, Maybe because it's more normal for women to be vulnerable. Like, I would ask what she wants to do. Like, do you want to pray? Do you want me to get the you fuck something? Out of here. I ain't making you call for a red boy. <laughs> do you want to lie all the time? Do you want to see, like, do you want to <laughs> seek professional help? Like, is there anything that I'm doing that's triggering this in you? Anything I can do to prevent it? Like, you say you walk around them drawers. Right. Everything, anything. She say, I want to have I mean, sex you with you. Tell but you I, would, I would seriously, like, <laughs> seek to try to help her as best <laughs> I can oh, without God. judging her. Like, this is. Never going to be something I would bring up. In so an do you argument. feel like black women judge men? I mean, I, somewhat, I don't, yeah. But I, I, like I say, I and again, feel like this, this is about a criticism. Approach. I just feel like because of the experience that y'all have had with so many men, more negative than positive, that you can never fully take a man serious when he's trying to be vulnerable because uh, the, it's I always mean, a negative connotation. I just think black people are hard on black people. Men yeah. are hard on Hurry women. You. Hurry you. Like old people are hard on young people. I feel like no one like empathizes with anyone. No one that's what I'm to, saying. Like, but it's like, but I'm just saying, if a but girl that goes for each individual. To, a girl exposes an emotion to a man. He might take it more serious because, like, that's a woman. It's a normal yeah, thing. Yeah. When a black, because women black, usually tell the truth. So I got Rocks, <laughs> if you do this shit, one more time. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. It's like I feel like it's for each individual because at the end of the day, it's but it's not. A, it's 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 a, it's a cultural issue. I, I, feel I like had I had my exes break down to me and tell me stuff. So it's like I I sympathize with it. Like I done had people cry in front of me that spill up and down. They don't cry in front of people. But it's like I sympathize. I have empathy for somebody because I could put myself in their shoes. I may not go through it, but. I can say I understand. Like, so how do we get better? At, all right, so so no, effect, no, 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 so effective communication. They don't care. They don't oh, care. No, effective yeah. communication is what is what Mickey's getting at. So how do we get to that point where it's like there's effective communication about you have, issues? Well, that comes weaknesses. with trusting that sh- everything out your mouth is not bullshit. And what we're saying is in that first conversation, but you a can woman tell not going, a woman I, not. 
Please don't tell me you can tell. You can tell because what? what? What you can tell? Like, I'm saying, like, I feel like when you're y'all talking to... Be off. No, I'm saying when All you're talking way. to someone and having a one, one-on-one kind of conversation with them, you can tell when a conversation, whether if they bullshit you on a conversation or they no, really about to... So is it a matter that people don't? I I, I, I put this point up a good. Is that people only want to be in relationships that have no complexities? It's like when the honeymoon phase is over, when y'all hit that rush patch, motherfuckers is out. Mm. I don't come to me with your mental insecurities. Mm -hmm. It's like I can be honest with you. I've dealt with a girl who had I will. It had to be bipolar tendencies, and. I dealt with it and it was fine. It's like maybe to the point where it's like maybe I can sympathize with her because I, only my friends know, but I, I, I'm kind of manic <laughs> at points. Like I've had like since my son passed away, I've had manic episodes. Like where it's like I'm really high, I'm really low, and I've managed to manage it without seeking professional help. Not everyone else is blessed like that. Some people can't handle the mm-hmm. imbalance of right. those chemicals. So it's like. You got to, sometimes I think we don't realize that we should empathize with people from a personal standpoint. Like, maybe it's not you personally who's in it, but you know friends who've done through stuff, who have certain things. Like, if we really honest, all of our friends, like, we we know them niggas ain't rap too tight. We see (laughs) mental issues. That's what I'm saying in our community. Right, we see the mental issues. So when someone that you're linked to romantically, like, and I find this funny, and I find this with me too. I have more tolerance for my friends where there is no sexual connection, nothing romantic tied. Like, I will deal more with their shit than I will with someone I'm sleeping with. Is it that we just have a low tolerance for the people we spend night and day with sleeping next to at night? Maybe our expectations are too high. Maybe that was a bad soul tie. True. (laughs) But I feel like I'm more soul tied to my best friends than ever. Like, they're my soulmates. Bro, that's, you know. Blessed to have some good, you feel me, people. Or, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm not. At the celibacy thing, I just don't think. I don't. I don't want to say I don't think so, men can do it. I just think that like, it's so, a different. So, beast. so to get to know each other better because they feel they, you know, men are liars, and mm-hmm. if they have sex, with it, if they have sex that. with a guy. Let's not say that. That's, I didn't say all men alive. No, that was that was all right. That, that was all right. That was all right. That was all That was right. Nikki like, been good all day. Like, she didn't say no. Like, I did not say that. We lied through our teeth. We lied to get some pussy. We lied to get But the funny thing is, like, they never they confuse the thing. Like, when I say the B word, like, I want to say it on here because I feel like, you know, I want to protect Dimes, the FCC regulation. When I say bees, <laughs> you know, you know, the fans they was watching. When I say bees, I'm talking about a certain type of woman. Like, when I say women, I'm referencing certain types of women. So, when Mickey, not Mickey, when Roxy say niggas lie, she ain't talking about me. Right. I don't know. Right. Exactly. So, I don't get offended. So, it's just like people have to realize, like, you put yourself in the category. Shit, I always talk about me, even, bro, Jamal. All right. Don't lie for no coochie. Me, yo, for <laughs> you real. You was just about to sir. speak on it though. Yes, no, but for real. No you was just about to say something about what she but said. But real, like real dudes who got real game knows that your real skill is being able to tell a girl flat out the truth and still right. get the drugs. Right. What I was gonna say was that do you think <laughs> being <laughs> celibate? Do Raw we think, talent. Do we think being celibate and actually dealing with somebody without sex? For you know, extended period of time, we can know me, them better. Like, are we gonna know them better? Or those lies easier to tell you when I'm fucking you? Like, I'm, is it, I'm is it, is it easier? Is it easier? If you're not wrapped up in sex with somebody. I met a girl in 2007. We recently just had sex, like last fall, like in November. But were y'all talking all the time? The whole time, like it was all. Oh, it was wow. one of those things where it was Tim, like. What is that? What's listen, talking? What's talking for you? So Tim, listen, I'm gonna get y'all to. I'm gonna get y'all, y'all the juice if y'all let me talk. Okay, go so ahead. That's a lot of years. It was like it was like almost love at first sight for real. But it was always things. And one, I had a couple of years on her, like three and a half, four years. But we were always one when I first met her. I was still kind of going through the grieving part of losing my son, so I was in a fucked up place emotionally. Then it is through the years we stayed in touch. She had a boyfriend. Then I would have a girlfriend. It was never good timing. The last couple of years, like when I had my daughter, the disaster that is with her mother, she got pregnant and had a, uh, her daughter with someone she doesn't particularly like either. So while we were bonding, I have a lot over, of kids with people you don't like. I only have one cow. Stop it. It happens, man. You don't have kids. So as like as we were bonding over that, like I was there just for her, like as a friend first going through that pregnancy. 
like I would t like that's the only girl I've ever fallen in love with where the sex came years later. Wow. Years that's later. Like deep. when I say it was e intimate, like when we finally had sex, I've never had sex better than that. Max, but no. we're playing in the background. Yeah, sure. When I say Candles it was the mix. epitome of love Candles making life, that's how I feel like. And here I am, a man who's telling you I probably can't make it. Like, you know, <laughs> like I'm not even going to make it, it to was, a general I mean, some of the really things, like, truth be told, it wasn't <laughs> all on my self will to stay away. Like, life kind of got in the way where we just couldn't get there. Yeah, yeah. And it was kind of to our benefit because no matter if we're together, like, romantically ever, like, if we get married. I'm always going to have a love for her that's different than anybody else. So why aren't y'all together at this point? It's complicated. She's another because one. Because he's addicted to sex. No. Now. She's another <laughs> one. She's another one without giving out her personal business. She goes through, you know. He said you was whipped, man. Moods, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, 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 mental health thing. Like, right now, like, the last couple of weeks, she's been really, like, really depressed. Like, just because she's unhappy about where her career is and all that other stuff. So that weighs her down. So I have to be patient about the emotional place she's in. How and often I push do you break her food? Uh, a lot. I don't eat her. <laughs> what? I'll get, I'll get to that what later. What should they say? Go ahead, y'all. No. Stop it. Stop it. Watch it, too. Like, hold on. No, stop it. Let's, let's evaluate this relationship. No. We only have one God. side. We need both sides of the story. Call her. Hey, baby girl. 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 A, a few girls have bested me. She ain't the type. Like a few girls have played me. Like, but she ain't doing it. Like okay. she's so generally thought that about me too. What? That she was trying. <laughs> she was a good one. She was a good one, but she was an ultimate player that you didn't even realize. Yeah, it's no, criminal, no, right? <laughs> no, because like she's really is just like you know when I say like certain like mental health things go on checked in the black community, like she really has them lows, them really like. And being somebody who's been there, like, I can recognize it, yo. Like, sometimes you can't get the fuck out of bed. That's dope. And it's hard. Hard getting out of bed. Like, when your life isn't where you want it to be, and you feel like you really don't want to do it, it's deep. But to your point, yeah, like, some of the best relationships, from my experience, like, the better ones the ones where sex doesn't get in the way. I, the funny thing is, you feel me, the person I love the most definitely sex wasn't a big deal waited around for it you feel me mm -hmm. like didn't care when it happened you don't look at me like that. all i did don't was look, look at, at you like get out of here <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. but she all i did like, was look nigga you lying look and oh my god and first of all i, I won't look at you no more thinking. i just so won't she look looked at, at me and i, know I you're won't thinking. look at you but no no real talk like the person i had the strongest bond with definitely it was a place where though like sex wasn't the biggest thing, and that's how it should be. Do you think men love deeper than women? This has been a debate forever. I do. I do, too. Nah, nah, I do. Nah, 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 I, do. Nah, nah, nah. I don't we think so. Love I women. don't We don't love so. as often. Oh, <laughs> the shade right there. So you think y'all love deeper than women? Because, think because some of them lies that y'all talk about them fuckboys offer up make y'all fall in love for them. What? What? But we I love that. Let me let me say this, but you, but it's so many heartbroken niggas out here. Yes, I'm not understanding are. that. But yet y'all love right. So y'all choosing the wrong kind of love too. No, that's not what he's saying. I'm not saying What are you saying there? Like, but, but listen, but you let said me, but you, you said that you was like, let me y'all been in reply. love before. Let me give you a reply. Some some Wait, wait, I'm I'm going to some heartbreaks, and let me make this very clear because people use heartbreak mm. over enthusiastically. Everybody always heartbroken, but they really not. Real heartbreaks sometimes oh in relationships aren't <laughs> always negative. It's like sometimes you're heartbroken because the relationship just ended. Yeah. It wasn't a bad thing. So you let me know, like at the end of the day. Okay. What? I don't even know what's going on here anymore. I done lost track of this conversation. This I got a question. <laughs> no, you don't. Right. I'm not right now. I need to pull the hood. Who are you recording? I got a motherfucking question. <laughs> For who, right? I mean, um, damn. So Bob, if men love deeper than women, why is it that when the woman gains weight, get a little fat, more men are quick to leave? Or when they get a little money, they quit to leave. Or they always cheat. Because in the words of, um, what's her name? I don't know. Who the fuck is she? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> what's 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 she, who was she when he said my love has a limit? My love has a weight limit. Okay. But why do more women stay around? The, our love don't have a limit like that. Because y'all stay around for stupid shit. A girl, no, no. Wow. A girl cheat on me, wow. I'm out the first time. I ain't got to go back twice. Let me tell you, my wow. husband can get fucking fat, lose his arms, legs, eyes, dick. So he cheat, on, he cheat on you, you saying? That's different. That's not love. That's not love if somebody's going to cheat on you. It's okay, not. so then I got a question, though. What? Like, do you feel like 
And I've seen this because I've seen somebody, they, they got a divorce or they broke up, but they end up getting back together. Because, I love those white ladies. Because some, but someone stepped out of the relationship. So just because someone cheated, do you do? You, is it the just, bond is broken? The covenant is, is smashed. It, but I'm is not that dead. it? Is it, it, it is. It is. It's done. If you sit around and you telling me that someone tells you over and over again, like this is what's going on, this that and the third, and yet you pay no attention to it, like they're wrong. Like I mean, I'm yo, just, infidelity, infidelity. I'm never gonna get over that. It's just about giving them the chance to hurt you again. Like just because y'all. So you are feel cool like people so just because someone cheated, that means that they're gonna cheat again. She cheated on me. Even if she come to you first and tell you the same. Hell yeah. See, y'all love so I'm, I'm curious. Curious. No, it's y'all is just stupid. Y'all stupid. Is stupid. So you're saying that like, don't what, try to do that. But See, I mean, that's that emotional stuff right no, there. But I'm which you won't emotional. Do this. Love yeah. is fucking emotional. You won't emotional. make us. You won't make. Love is fucking emotional. You won't make us. You won't make us feel like we don't have the capacity to love because we want to stick around for dumb shit. I don't think it's dumb shit. You saying? Do you know how many dudes I know that stay around with a girl that? Cheated on them. They, they stupid too. But does it really matter? But to, no, it matters. That stupidity. But to matters. sit around. But really. But you have to look at it <laughs> no, like it you're sitting around. Like you're using logic in a in an emotional situation, and this is because I am a logical mind. Thank you. It makes no sense when love when love you know makes you make do, mistakes love in makes life you do because I'm not love impulsive. Makes you fucking like love that. makes you I'm not impulsive. I'm, I'm never crazy. gonna do anything. You're, you're, you're crazy. Crazy. Trumping, trumping that emotion. When you find you know what, if I was emotional, impulsive like y'all want me to be. When my baby, when my daughter's mother was keeping her away from me, I would have snatched her little ass up by the neck. But me, me being logical, I wasn't emotional. That was the, that was the me most being emotional. logical. I would have kidnapped her ass and buried her, and no one would ever find her like a swamp. Well, well everybody's going to jail on this. Show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. So, I don't even. I no, I'm just saying. That I'm just. I'm just saying. That's just. So 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 uh, so. This is the thing. We don't love more. We don't. We don't love harder. Mm-hmm. Um, a sexual be, urge, a sexual urge, a sexual urge, a sexual urge is definitely not as strong as this. So I didn't say that basically, what we do is make excuses all day. <laughs> exactly. Because men are lying. Exactly. We make excuses all I didn't day, say that either. and we don't know ourselves. They said y'all look old. You don't, because y'all need to get, <laughs> y'all need to get ass to the doctors. Yo, like, who is that? She said she said with the guys though. She with us. She, oh, she's with us on oh, the top. So you think that so you think that men love harder than women? You agree? Sherelle, the men love hard because I've been dating girls who be 30 talking about Why oh, can't I, spent, it be equal? I spent five years with this dude, I was in love with him. Spent four years with this dude, I was oh, in love with him. All. I spent four years with this dude. Damn, sis, you've been in love three times. I haven't, but people, <laughs> but it's, but, it I mean, but how can you live in your Damn, sis, no love, ain't no infatuation. How can you live in your mommy? Life? Yeah, I don't know, mommy. On get off my life, mom. But I mean, god damn it, each person that you love teach you something different. I don't care what there's a difference between love. Loving someone and being in love. They talk about they've been in love. Being in love is a rare thing. It happens maybe once, twice in a lifetime if you're very fucking lucky. How many times y'all been in love? Once. In love? Once. I've loved a few. Shout out to all a couple of my exes. I've loved a few girls, but I've been in love one time. Yep. One time. And I think I may, and the girl I was telling y'all about, I may never get over it or love someone like that again. So, yep. for it to be that, this is why I say the like, girls be talking about, oh, I love my baby father. Like, that shit. Oh, now you can't love somebody without being in love with them. Exactly right, my right, point, right. but they be talking about they be in love. No, How you been in love three times? <laughs> You 30, how do you been? Shorty, love is supposed to be that rare thing. You in love three times? Before 30? Well, I sex is supposed to be a rare them. thing. I don't know about that. Stop. Do not like compare that. love to sex. I will not let I you mean, do this. I mean, hold on. But if you want to be technical, if you want to be technical, sex is supposed to be, if you want to be biblical since you so, yes, oh, preacher, wow. yes, so deacon. Wow. Mickey, I thought that Monique was just now. I thought that Monique was just now. Because she's over here with that half a million bullshit. But I'm being honest. So ain't sex I'm saved, but I'm not delivered. I'm saved, but I'm not delivered. Oh, okay, but I'm just, I mean, if you want to be technical with shit, you're supposed to have sex when you're married with your wife. But that ain't happened. That's but not how you're I'm not married. getting married. Yes, brother. You're not getting married. No. What the hell I got to do with being in love? Yes, I do. I've been slinging love and slinging dick to I've the same person you love. I've been slinging a lot of dick to bitches I don't love. Shout out to all the one night stands. And that's why, <laughs> this is why I'm saying. Sierra, you still on, baby. You all the one night, baby. Oh, you on the whole night, baby. <laughs> this is not a half night. This is a whole night. He need a whole course. I get Mickey's point. Like, sex is supposed to be a rare thing. Fact. 
But I don't. I, I won't tell don't girls quit. I've only made anything. love to two girls. The rest of them was just getting dick. You was getting fucked. If like, you insert in your penis oh into somebody, that's and not love, I mean, nigga. Don't talk no, about if you want to be technical, we want to take it back. We're taking it back to the old days. Because what I old mean, days? Aren't you the one that go to church and pray? Call the scripture to me if you're gonna keep throwing it in my face. Call the scripture to me, Mickey Vance. Call the scripture to me and I will let you run with that. I'm not gonna let y'all do that. I'm not let y'all do that. Listen, listen. Hold, <laughs> hold the tabernacle. <laughs> hold the tabernacle. Oh hold the scripture to me about sex right now. Hold the scripture to me about sex right now. You want well, Exodus? You, know, you want Philippians? Look at you. Look at you. I'm sorry. I don't read the Bible. Then like don't, don't ever quote it I'm to me. Don't ever. <laughs> don't, don't, do that. Don't, do don't ever. Don't do that. Don't ever. But ain't that what they teach you though? But that's what they teach you though. They teach you to be remorseful and try to stay away from the sins and don't repeat them. But all we all sinners. Mind you, I will tell you this: I have yet to confess to God about my sin of sexual immorality because I'm not, I can't commit to Him that I won't do it again. So I'm not there. That's what they teach you: don't confess sins that you're going to repeat. Mm-hmm. The reason why I don't lie because I confessed to God a long time ago that I wasn't going to lie because lying got me in trouble doing some shit. Okay. So yeah, I had a question, but it's off topic. No, so this is the perfect. We need, up. we need a no, new no, topic. No, the topic, no, 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 this the topic is no. This, y'all just did it. Y'all yeah. just did it. The segue is into. Why don't men treat their body like a temple? Yeah, so for women trying you're, to you're get you over, and, and we're gonna start, and we're gonna start with you because you <laughs> can attest to you knowing what treating your body like a temple is. I didn't grow. Up. Yes, I did. Just say. I, I won't tell. I'm starting at like. I won't, I won't tell you. I I got a tattoo when I was 18. Uh, and <laughs> and I've had an urge to get like more like recently like the urge to get more have been prevalent lately. But I refuse to do it because the Bible tells me my temple is my body is not my own. It belongs to God. So you so. committed to the tattoo thing, but not the sex. I try to Why? do the sex. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Niggas love picking and choosing. No, this is not what I'm saying. Can y'all hear? Can See, y'all hear? Are you still here? Stop it. Right. What what tempts me is like most of the times in the relationship in the relationship I have as an adult, like I'm not the one who initiates sex. This is why girls are always real comfortable. I'm not the dude. I'm never going to push up on you about sex. So you never initiated sex? I'm never going to bring it up. I'm never the first one to bring it up. I'll go months without That's talking about sex. sex. And girls get real, they get real antsy. Well, I when you don't bring it up, they get real way, antsy. Yo. I'm not saying y'all, I know it's not y'all. Y'all in a whole different world. I ain't saying nothing. Listen. But they get, <laughs> <laughs> they get real antsy. Mind you, I'm like, I, on a daily basis on social media, I throw innuendos out all the day long. But in relationships, it's like, yo, sex is not a pressing thing for me. Like, if I've never added another chick to my resume, it is what it is. It is Hall of Fame bound. I've screwed, screwed chicks that just do with with one. It's in Hall of Fame bound. T.O. just made it to the Jets. God damn it. Shut up. But if I never add another girl, that's fine. What happens is girls get this thing where they're comfortable, you're making them feel good, and they tempt. And as much as I try to be a spiritual man, my flesh is weak. Flesh is my weak. flesh is weak. Flesh is weak. And that's not an excuse for me to, oh, I want to do what I want to do. Like, I'm at the point in my life that I want you to say this without the two of y'all laughing and thinking it's some male bullshit. I can't even enjoy sex anymore because I can't. I feel convicted about it every time after all. I'm surprised you, you get feel sex. What? After the moment? You surprised I have sex? You said you feel what? what? Yeah. <laughs> and he told Sierra, and he told CC she owe him something. <laughs> <laughs> he told CC she owe him something. And he don't owe you nothing. You gonna cry? You gonna cry? CC arms after y'all get I done? <laughs> I feel bad about it because I know how God wants me to be. I know that I'm supposed to be better, and I keep like if I if I would, if I would have to pick one sin that I have, like that's the one I can't get over. It's not my ego. It's not all that. It's like my body. It's the one thing that keeps dragging behind me. Like I can't get that motherfucker off my back. And that's just how it is. Yeah. So I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Uh, what, what, what they say? What Drake say? Yolo. Yolo. Yeah. Like. I only got one life to live. I'm gonna have a lot of sex. So you out here being you out here being Mr. Goodball? Text me the ball. <laughs> oh God. You out here no, being the Mr. Funny Good thing is, I definitely like chilled out because I want the other end. Like I say, I started having sex late, so when I when I I didn't talked about it, yeah, I didn't you feel me? Shut Wait, your what? face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't talked about it. I didn't you feel me? Even didn't went there, but ain't get all the way there. You feel me with girls? So it was like once I. 
once I, you feel me, hit the ground, I hit the ground running, you feel me? So. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Though. Now I'm gonna like slow, slow it down. You feel me? Let's get something real here. Type, yeah. of, type of whole mindset. So. Oh, look at you. Yeah. So. Stop. And I kind of feel you on that because I'm at the places <laughs> like if, if I can't. And I got a hall of fame. I, like he said, I, 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 I hall of fame. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> he hey, got a hall of fame. First of all, the guys, the guys on here, they understand what I'm saying yeah, just by like saying that. my face. <laughs> You feel I, me? You wouldn't understand because you don't have a penis. I'll agree with Bob. Like, if I can't I'm refrain from it all again, at least I only have sex with girls I'm dating exclusively. Is that the only thing that keeps your, your temple clean is sex? And, like, no, it's other things. We were having this conversation. We were she talking talked about, about it. it. We started. We started. That's 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 he went from tattoos. He went from tattoos to sex. Because Roxy was involved. Because Roxy was involved. I'm just confused. I'm just confused. I'm just confused. I want to explain it to y'all. All right, I got another question. Oh, good God. Y'all go to the so doctor? Men. When the last time you been to the doctor? That's what about the ass. You your prostate? <laughs> what about your prostate? Septem- September. Saying. September. You feel me? You can Why only go to the doctor once a month, once a year. Do you think everybody wants to know? Why does so many men wait until their girlfriend go to the doctor's? First of all, I go to the doctor. I ain't had a girlfriend well, in 10 like years. Like you said, we're not just talking about you, Jamal. I don't we're know. Men, uh, but you, you said you don't know. Maybe they don't have insurance. Maybe they don't have insurance. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they don't know. I'm going to tell y'all why. I go to the doctor. With my mother has been a nurse for 35 years. Like, said, health has been in my life. You can still give your opinion on other men. The niggas is dirty the same reason they don't change their drawers every three days. Scared of what? The diseases they have. Finding out that their penis is gonna stay where they been. But it's not even about your penis. What about diabetes, your cholesterol, blood? I mean, all of that. Like none of that matters. I mean, no, because no, like no, that's no, the no, only no, thing no, that people. No, 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 no. I mean, in reality, that's all people worry about. Oh, is my dick dirty? I mean, yes, that matters, but it's other stuff that could, that could kill you. Like yeah. people are dying from diabetes, like from heart attacks. Ain't no twenty-five year old worried about no damn diabetes. Then somebody, then the dude <laughs> just overdoses yeah. some stuff. No, or whatever. I'm telling you, is in their mind, they're not worried about diabetes. But you, but you should because is so many people have that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I right hey, yeah. <laughs> no, what I'm saying. And the artist, I don't know how Bob feel about i don't know why in all god's honesty i don't know why dudes don't go to the doctor to me i go to the doctor because like you said i had a grandfather who had prostate cancer he had high, a high blood pressure he had he was on a lot of crap him and my grandmother so to me i take that family history thing real serious Hi. plus i don't know my father wasn't around so i don't know what the hell his family had mm-hmm. so i have to make sure especially now i was going to the doctors once a year every year since i was born now with my daughter around i definitely have to be around for her until she's a grown age can take care of herself so i can't explain to y'all why dudes don't want to i'll speak on i I think they like i said i feel like i kind of agree with bot without the whole penis thing they they're afraid of what they are gonna want right right but i would elaborate on that i feel people don't love themselves You so love loving, but I didn't say I don't love penis. myself. I, I mean, not you. I'm saying so. The thing the is, I feel like Queen just called y'all a the queen. Them, they don't pay. The, they don't pay themselves that much mind. They, they, they queen just called y'all a queen. Number one black, black people. Black people queens. gotta feel something. They gotta feel something to go to the. So you're talking about like you queen. You feel me? Proactive type of thing. Black people is like, no, I need to be coughing, hacking up before I go get seen. But we and need you know to why? Because I just talked about it. I said people do not love themselves. But we need to talk about the they family history. Some of, some of, some of that comes from kids. Like, 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 I know kids when I was little. Things. Their mother didn't take them to the doctor, didn't take them to the dentist, didn't take them to the eye doctor. So some of that is uh, hereditary, environmentally taught. That's yeah. why some of them still can't read. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, but I know many kids person, who, when they were sick, they like, didn't all go of to these the excuses, doctor. like, as a child and whatnot, we all grow up, and at some point in time, your body tells isn't it, you cannot tell me that you you don't wait, not saying you could. No, you but I think you're expecting too much from people. Expecting yeah, for you to wait, you're, you're not like, telling me that you don't wake up your body. Your body gives you We're having a conversation about people not doing you so don't make it seem like it's just something that's how can you not know? I agree. I'm agreeing with y'all. I'm telling you that. Y'all, th- y'all, th- y'all expecting too much of people getting out of their environment. Like, how many people do we know never leave Perkins, never get out of patrol? They right, they was right. born there. Now they live there with besides. But you can have a blood black man. That's supposed to be like I'm confused. Like I'm, I'm not understanding. Like, so you'd rather be damn near on your deathbed dying of whatever you may have. They died. still don't want to know because, what it is. And because of the simple fact you waited too long. You know how many dudes no really sense. believe that, that whole, no oh, sense. my girl went to the doctor, she good, I'm good. They really this, believe that. I had that. the same conversation with her on politics earlier. And it's like, yeah, at this point, I know that voting and t- paying attention to local politics can 
uh, make change. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I didn't vote the last year. I, mean, I didn't know the names of the of the people that really put put my votes in the right place and stuff like that. But because I said life. You feel me? And that's what I'm saying. People. They might not think going to the Your health is your real life. Because when you're six feet that, under because you had a heart attack, that don't make no you goddamn expect, sense. You expect, go get checked. Wait, go you get expect check. the people who don't even have basic life insurance to go to the doctor? Obviously, they don't care about their yeah, life. Yeah. If they don't care, then why they always Google checking everything if they don't care? Because they don't want to go to the doctor. But they care. Obviously. But you care enough to go if check. I was Googling on WebMD. You care enough to go check and So we're surprised that people have a contradiction? We on this show every week. We're surprised that people are a contradiction? No, but we need to fix it. And like so I say, it's not It's not even about... Y'all wanna, y'all wanna you go to the doctor all the damn time, you get them to go. Go to the doctor. What are I you put, talking I, about? First of all, every time I go to the doctor... Well, y'all y'all just started following me. I post my That's yearly check... for seven years and right, they know it. Right, I post my, I post my annual checkup results on the my chart. I love the my chart. I post, I post my test results, my blood work, and I post my HIV test every time I go. Not because I'm bragging to people, because I want to portray healthy living. But that, I do my part. I'm telling yo, go do this, go do that, check that out. I can't, can't save everybody. I'm already it's trying to easy. save their financial literacy lives. Like I save their health lives. Yes, I, go to, yes, I ain't go to medical realize. school. You won't have, have good financial literacy. <laughs> nobody ain't alive. Some of y'all gonna be alive. Y'all three go to the doctors. Right, he he takes accountability. <laughs> he don't. I'll take some accountability. Any, anytime you, you go, go to the, the dummy of the day or something. Anytime no, you go to the dummy of the day. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me leave. <laughs> I says women, we also need to make sure these men are getting checked out before we lay with them because a lot of us are not. Oh, I give girls, I sleep with uh, uh, um, uh, a rapid, about, a rapid about, HIV about test all the time. Of, a rapid? Like, a rapid? In the house? No, no, like you go. I don't um, Chase Braxton gives out free HIV and they, STD they tests. Uh, Planned Parenthood. Do like, what are you talking about? You got all these. I got, yo, I got witnesses. Girls will tell you I slept the latest HIV test. Like, like, let's get busy. I mean, you go home and take a home, I mean, a home kit. No, I like to go in, in the doctor. Shout out to Shantel Williams. I, took, I called her from last week saying she it's easy to be ignorant. That's, that's that's the that's the answer for y'all. Y'all want to oh, what y'all gonna call in? We had a jump on caller last week. What are y'all, y'all calling in this week? Ass. It's easy to be ignorant. It that's is. why people don't get off their ass and do things that you feel like they should be doing in their life because it's easy. No, I don't to be feel ignorant. like you should be doing. If you want, listen. If you want to be sick and have the most weirdest thing that's not curable, knock yourself out. But I'm saying at the end of the day, do you, what, do you what know most people are asymptomatic? But not what pisses me off is that people complain about this. Yeah, a lot of people curse. They asymptomatic, and I'm not just talking about sexual stuff. Just diseases. They don't show symptoms. So and no wonder why they wouldn't go to doctors. But at the end of the day, at some point in time in your life, I feel like it should click inside of your head. Like, I let me go get my stuff. Hold Mickey's hand. Like, like she all like, peace, peace and love. Go get checked. Go get checked. Because, I mean, I'm just being honest. I mean, we're going to get to the doctor. I'm with you, though, but I'm... I'm saying that's you're big, stressing yourself out. Okay, I'm trust friend. me. Listen, honey, when the uh, zombie apocalypse sign and everybody is out of shape and everything, I'm going to be good. You know how much I'm going to be good when that zombie apocalypse comes. We're going to be the walking dead. I'm going to be fucking good. I got the, I got the sword, though. I got the, I got the katana. I don't want the gun. <laughs> I want the katana. I want the, I want the katana. The katana sword. I don't know what that is. Okay, don't I, have, know what I don't. Is. I don't. <laughs> what about Kylie Jenner? Okay, I just have a quick question. Did she realize that that baby's going to be born with the features that she was born with naturally, not the ones she purchased? <laughs> she going to get she going to upgrade her baby. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. her baby. but I have a question. Do you feel like, in a sense, like her hiding her pregnancy? Was she trying to A, hide her pregnancy from the pu- public? I feel like. At times, she was a little questionable because she is kind of young. She's <clears> not, <throat> to say, as old as her older sisters. Yeah, she's like 20, right? That could be it, but I also think And she's worth $25 I mean, million. But she, she, I'm not saying she can't take care of yeah. her kid. You feel me? She definitely can, but there's other people that's little kids that do look up to her. So in y'all didn't sense. believe her statement? What? I didn't hear her say. What was her statement? We talking about this generation that... that, 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 that she, first of all, that y'all dragged the Kardashians, so she was out with keeping y'all in tune with her little baby news. Y'all be dragging her. We would. Stressing her out. Yeah. Which her baby feels because that. her baby's a part of her. So at the end of the day, she These motherfuckers are the egotistical. Kept y'all they the egotistical as shit. They are egotistical. I and I, I felt like, and y'all dragged her today when she dropped her. Kanye anyway. fits right in with Who their fucking family. I mean, I have to say it's in the same A lot question. of people dragged her. That's I mean, the I'm happy that for you. You can't be a public figure and expect not to get dragged. Yeah, like that's a problem. You signed up for it. But all that aside, she said she didn't want her baby affected. So that's why everybody is. I don't think that's why. That's why I just asked my first question was, did y'all believe her? And y'all didn't. 
Can I tell y'all the reason? Go ahead. Go ahead. Very smart. I think that it's a strong possibility that the reason that she didn't become public for pregnancy is because, like, it'll take Sean away from her sister. And that's how that fucking family works. That is how Oh, true, true, true. I get what you're saying. I mean, I'm not knocking her. I mean, definitely keep it private. While she's pregnant, y'all both can't be pregnant. Well, no, Chloe came out. It was all three of them that were having babies in that little (laughs) between times and whatnot. She's seen what y'all do to her sisters while they were having babies. But who's doing this? I ain't trying to hear that because everybody always talks about, well, you a public figure for this. But people were still talking about it. Like all of these other people lives that people are still talking about it. Whether she talked about it or not, because her baby is dropped. She can, you can talk. I'm talking about why she was still pregnant. People was talking because everybody knew she was fucking pregnant, whether she hit it or not. Everybody fucking knew. Can we talk about local celebrities now? <laughs> we we have, like, talk about oh, y'all local heard um, Ben Hanna Izzy dropped his a uh, mixtape. No, I don't know who that is. Yeah, the that's local rapper. Yeah. That's not it. Really yeah, is yeah, Ben Hanna yeah, Izzy? Like hey, Ben Hanna, come on the show, shorty. Come on the show with Perk. Is it possible we can listen to it tonight? You don't sound like it. Doesn't sound. Hey, can you play a little trash? The song. I probably heard it. Some about you know yeah, make it make it. What was he mixing hits in the kitchen or something? I forget whatever it was there. I'm oh, sorry. The video is hot. Izzy tough. The blue, the blue, the cold blue. Izzy got visuals. Izzy got. So yeah. how you know I didn't Izzy hear? You talk to him. No, you didn't. How you know I didn't? Cause huh. you lost in the sauce right now. That's not true. But can we like shout out to school to me? Rest in peace. Like Baltimore or the DMV, like in the last five years, have had they not major stars, but up and coming MCs. Take Cobain. Like we got plenty of that. It's not the talent; it's the problems, the supporters. The supporters. It's not. The, it's not. The, it's not the, I feel like Scooter would have been the next thing. Like he, if thing, he ain't get taken out up. nationally, he was going right, up. right, right. And like that's about, lost talent right there. Yeah, yeah. But, but Baltimore is just that for real. Like they cut through. It's cut through. But um, definitely the support thing. I don't think nobody really wants to support you until everybody supports you. Exactly. You know? So that's why we don't get no steam with no artists here and stuff like that. But now it's a lot of national recognition. Like I said, Peace with the Mafia. Well, T. Cobain. But like, most of the local artists, like I'm impressed by the, the local MCs here mm-hmm. would impress me the most is like they do it out the gut and by that. I mean, they do it with no labels mostly. Mm-hmm. They, they like, I think Ben Hunter did this like no major signing like he did this right, right. like independent which if he goes up that's no oh, that's less you have to cut in the record label which exactly, is good exactly. he signed up. to he who signed, he signed to um, um but isn't like a local label it's not a no, national no, no, it's, not, it's not local no he signed, a, he signed a deal um recently like uh last Nice oh, right. so, they okay. put this, so they put the steam behind him. He was just doing, he just was just doing. Like, like, they did like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, 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 they did 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 like, they like y'all will not be but having see, to it's more, around. It's more people trying to be rappers and stuff like that than it is people just trying to sit around and be a manager at the end of the day. And right? I who's mean, managing y'all? I'm like, yo, I can manage five of y'all. Right, but a lot of people don't want to do that. You don't know what I mean. Not to say you don't. Yo, like, call people, me four four three eight five four seventeen twenty seven. Y'all hit me up. Oh like I'm God. serious. Like they not being managed because the manager want to hop on the track too. And that's what I'm saying. Like, am I the only person? Like, to me, when I think about business, I want to be the nigga signing the check, not the yeah, one receiving the check. I don't want to be in front of the camera. Well, depending on Not what saying I'm is. cutting them off. I'm like, yo, I want to be the one getting you the sponsorship deals, the commercials, the Pepsis, and all that. Right. Yo, you don't want to be in a video? No, nigga, I want to make this money so I can buy $3,000. But see, being suits. a manager right. is having the gift of gab. If you don't have that gift of gab, then. I mean, have y'all seen me talk? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying in general. She talk, she talk in about just general, being a bad like a lot of people don't know how to finesse That's maybe they, finesse the situation. Yeah. Like, but I'm just know. saying, like, why? If this is where it comes to again, where I'm always talking about collaboration. Like, yo, if you got the talent, why not go find somebody who ain't your cousin, your uncle, your brother? Yo, can you manage me? I want somebody separate. Because from they don't know the right person. Right because you don't go, like, you don't go across the board. You going up to try to go up for real? They it's look, not about what you somebody. know, but who you know. And if you don't know who to connect with the right yeah. person to even so like that same said, thing, yo, it's not enough like networking said, events he, in this town. Is he just did my cousin Sweet Sixteen? You feel me? Last yeah. year, yeah. and then the steam is hitting him. He's all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Face everywhere. He's doing big. You feel me? Who's the one girl in town that is a rapper? What is it? Sneaky T. Girl. Yeah, I think yeah, that's her name. That's the same. Yeah. She's the only female I know around town. Any other ones on the I same? Like Fendi. 
Oh, Fendi, Fendi is Fendi, bad. Fendi, like but Fendi, Fendi, Fendi be getting me. She be striking me more as a comedian. Yeah, because the videos, videos be telling. I ain't going to lie because I, 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 I don't know what I mean. The videos be telling. I don't know what I mean. The videos be telling. Nothing against Fendi. I'm just saying right. she a rap. I forget because when I look at the videos, it's, it's just a quick talk. Just a quick talk. The purple hair. The purple hair talking shit. You feel me? Yeah. She funny as shit. But uh, like that's the one thing I want like the local hip hop scene is really coming up and I feel like if they had better business association, mostly with the 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 young black people who went to business school in town, if they get hooked up, like what's the what's the dude name on um, the Keenan system? Why isn't Keenan made into some of these people? Um, because but I think it's out. about it's about putting the money behind. No, what I'm, I'm not blaming <laughs> so, him. Yeah, so, I'm not saying that. Who but do, who I mean, in reality, in reality, you have to find somebody that and who wants to be a manager or do that type of stuff. Like in a sense, for me, it's like I say it like this because for me and my best friend, he went to school for music. That's what he does. You feel me? For me, I'm more of the gift to gab and everything. I when it comes down to it, I put him in situations where he could be known because of the simple fact is that he may not be able to speak the way I speak. So I put that out there for him, but I want to do what I'm doing for him just as much as what he wants to do. So you have to find somebody that's willing to be like, all right, look, I know we start like we're literally starting, but we're gonna make. Don't they have a manager though? They got um the the rapper, the dude, D boy, the don't D boy. Never heard of Avenue Avenue. Yeah, you feel me? But he he that he's that manager. You feel me? But he's gonna put the money in the back and behind those guys. They got signed too, huh? Exactly, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Oh, they get good deals though. Depends. See, all the people that you name got signed because of their local. I want you to know that. But that's not. That that doesn't necessarily mean that deal is good. Yeah, it's not the best deal, but all those have good deals or what they they put out. Yeah, I'm about to say. Shit, me in this day and age with streaming, all your deals better be good. You better get that money up front. Make your music go hard and rewrite it's it. Like and get your first your shit, get your shit right. The, the, <laughs> no, no, these record start. labels That's are on their one last one. leg. You don't let them negotiate you out of a good deal. You be hammering shit. They gonna, no, they gonna the own, steam, they gonna the own your image, up. your now first masters, steam, all sorts steam, of shit. Steam, yo, yeah. Yeah. your name, your first, nothing. your first deal. True, is you want but, your face out there. You want to, yeah. you, you want. Yeah. Well, what if you want what your thousand strings to go to ten? What if your first, your first mixtape or your first album is that masters is a classic? Now the freaking, the fucking record label. You ain't even getting money there you try to get money, money it doesn't you, matter but if the music is a classic you can never re-release that if you get out of that deal and they own this shit they get paid off that forever that's true but that's i don't true. even think that's what they're trying to get paid off make another uh-huh. one this is what i'm <laughs> <that's> what <laughs> what what mean? Mean? making making <laughs> classics <laughs> aren't that easy that's what you're trying to get like, like, shows that's, that's what you make that's what you're that's what about to say like classics are hard to come by like drake's mixtape from 07 still a fucking classic he ain't remade it yet we're gone from the time where people are trying to get paid off of album sales Let's just put, that in, just put that in. I don't know. I'm saying. If I can get ten a show, I'm cool. Ten and grand. That's why, and that's why. Uh, ten grand. Yeah. That's all you getting from these shows? I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing out. I'm that's not a artist, you feel me? But I'm just telling you. Now, if is I can that ten thousand just for you, or is that ten thousand? What you mean? Who else? You're the artist. You got a band. You got a band. You got a band. Who paid for them? All right, so book up. So have a good booking manager and have some shows. No, this is what I'm saying. This, this speaks. No, this speaks to Roxy's deal. Who's covering these road costs? Like this the is what I'm saying. The people who got the thing. <laughs> the people who you feel me can see something. We gonna see in that Roxy. We gonna see in the end if these deals were good or not. Because all, they, they, all they come out of with these deals is some chains. They fuck where we're from. Let's think about where we're from. Some of these guys making music because that's the culture that, that they're growing up that's in, and they it. never thought it was ever gonna be anything bigger than what y'all talking about. So nobody's attacking it's it like y'all want the biggest. I want the biggest best deal. This the history of music. What culture? Huh? We still trying to build the history of music. The culture that everybody here been wanting to be rappers for a whole bunch of years now. What you mean? These little niggas. All right, all right, and these little niggas how old? So at the end of the day they came up in a culture where everybody was making music and now they're able to make money and change their family lives. Are they making money though? I believe so. What do you mean? Yo, are they gonna like, do they're something? Not, are they, they're not making the money that you feel like you feel me like, yeah, you feel they can make more, but they're making they're making money. What do you more mean? What they had, probably. They're not on the streets, they're not on the streets, you feel me, sitting there. On the corner, uh, that's what you do with target, the money. You feel me? Yo, day. call me. Let me read these Creek these these, these legal, what? 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 legal what? deals. Call me. Let me read these yeah. legal deals. You feel me? What Creek. they doing? They're doing what Scooter wasn't able to do. Which you was feel what? Me? What? Which was what? Get out the city. Sure. Yeah. Let's I mean, he probably that. could have. If he no, lived no, 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 long no, no, enough. That wasn't what you feel me. That wasn't the point I was making. You said that he didn't make it out. He didn't make it out the city. I'm telling you, these boys, Creek boys, live in a whole different zip. You feel me? Live in Atlanta. 
They're far away from what they know. You feel me? They're far away from the Exactly. So that's that's yeah, they're not making the biggest money in the world. They don't have the biggest mansion. But guess what they did? They moved their location. You talked about the people not getting out of Perkins, not getting out of you mean? That's big. That's not nothing to be taken lightly and like, oh, why you not? People want to support them too. Exactly. (laughs) They going down there catching the steam. You feel my homeboy? Shout out to Black down there making moves in Atlanta. You feel me? And they with flock, flock, and in the the studio with niggas and they talking and they preaching real shit to them. He still making me? Huh? Who flock? Yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But he still is who he is. You know what I'm saying? He still has all his connections and stuff. I don't know his wife bad. His mother and you feel me and this and that. He's a connection. But it's a plug. But it's about about, and his mother's in the industry. You're doing all of this, but when it finally dies down, it's about what you do with the money at the end. Do you still have it left over? Yeah, like because you're doing sitting around. I'm glad y'all. I mean, I'm I'm being realistic. Like, I mean, how many people have you known? I mean, look at Ja Rule. I mean, if you really want to be popping, this, that, and the third, did all of this stuff, and then. Did you? What did you do with they it? Cautionary it's a, it's about really they cautionary tales. They cautionary tales about money being blown. You make it quick, but you burn through that shit yeah. quicker. I mean, it's the, and we proud of the simple fact that they got out, but you also I'm need worried to keep about going and do something with it. Worry yeah. about that TLC deal. That make sure they no, that shit is forever going right now. TLC, but I guess that's not real life. That's not. No, I want y'all go get go get behind them if you worried about them. You feel me and what they're doing and the you moves they're making. Go get my, go back to school. No, they're not you gonna listen to you because you, you, you feel me. Don't know nothing. Bob, Bob Nicky, your veins always sticking out. Huh? <laughs> your veins yes. always. Come on. <laughs> I'm veiny. What the hell? So I'm just back when you talking. Calm down. Hurry, Bob again. He back again, yo. And I ain't got no choice. I don't support him. Yo, I mean, it's not to say I don't support him. The hell? But I can't want something for their future, Neva. Like me, me sitting around saying like, well, I want them to invest. That's their money. That's not me supporting them. No, I support what, them, but what, I want them to make sure is, that they do something with their is, lives. I think y'all discredited a lot of the positive things that. Oh no, I just said that. What do we discredit any of this stuff? I just said I, I want said them to I want them to have better, better deals and do better with them. I did not discredit any of the shit they did. Right, but we don't know their deals. We didn't even know oh, Izzy well, was we, you well, we signed, hoping, but he's in the but deal. we're you know hoping the deals are good right. because the music industry has and a we hoping that they doing something over that black people. Yeah, if you right. know a Baltimore right. nigga, you know that Baltimore nigga. I ain't met a white person who had a bad deal yet. Okay. Wait, is that a Universal's the big one? What he under for real? Universal Republic. Okay. So he cool. Maybe. Maybe. We ain't seen the deal. We ain't seen the deal yet. For the best. The music, like this stuff is not like like Diamond just said. This stuff is not working for them just yet. They don't. They're not. They got a little buzz, well, and they got they a lot of work to be doing. The for a lot of the fact that anybody gave them some money and gave them a chance to keep on making music and be at a high level when they deal with some better production and stuff like that. That's what it's about right now. So y'all talking about the back end and when they these little niggas is ten. We just talked about their age. Stop talking like they ten these, years old. Bob, I mean, I'm saying, like, I mean, yo, I'm exaggerating, but at the end, but you like, yo, the back end is the end of it. Like, the back end, no, think about it. Oh, my God. Think about it in reference of a football contract. Like, I want the money, not, is it and front your rookie, loaded? In your rookie contract, you're not getting the money. So let's just, let you keep playing and stop so sitting here talking to me about what you're So when you got to ask it, it depends on when you got to ask it. sports levels and everything else like that, you sign that contract for whatever it is. Now, you're making your money off that one contract, but what really lasts at the end of the day is the deals, the endorsements that you have in the long run that matters and builds up your money. I think what we're trying to say is it's like, yes, get your money. We support you in everything that you're doing. But what we're also right. saying is that at yeah. the end of the day the we want to make sure energy, that you own. when you're it's all said and done and shit do die down that you still get in that right. money in your pocket that's, that's like, so like, like, that's like, right. that's, like we're right. not knocking nobody we just want to make sure that just as much on the front end they good that they good on the back end too i want y'all to know that y'all are challenging i just said i just said i just we're just adding to it no can we no can we bring that up monique but her deal was really not that they put they showed her deal and they realized like no. it really wasn't all that good. I just talked about ten thousand. <laughs> did y'all so did y'all see the video since started, we and y'all started looking at me like no did y'all, that was, he got paid this person and this no. one? stop y'all oh, better sure. know what the industry is. I don't think y'all know what the industry <laughs> no, is. No, but did you see her deal like that. the interviews that she's, she's given since the last time? Exactly. So y'all not saying much with that. The deal that she had like since we last talked about her, like Made sense. She was talking about how she had a deal with Lee Daniels and got paid fifty thousand dollars. She's not complaining about that. 
when he sold the movie to Lionsgate, Lionsgate wanted her to go out and promote. She said her deal was not with them. She does not sing and dance for free. So she was saying, like, I promoted the movie for Lee where it got to these festivals. But she lied, cool. though, How did she, she lie? She was getting paid on the back end. She had she she had her own stake in it, a small percentage in her own stake. So if they sold it, she still was get, want to get paid additional money on the back end. Mm. She doesn't she doesn't bring up those points. She just tries to say but shit. She still to so make money, but she want to talk shit. Yeah. Yeah. She try to, yeah, she don't. She <coughs> just don't have. Uh, but that's again, yeah, was that not the deal she yeah, made with Lee Daniels though? Yeah, like, that's, that's the deal she made with him. That's the deal she made I with dare him. You. If like if corporations corporation sell no, if companies I gotta get deal sold with all the time. No, you know if I, mean? I gotta deal with Bobby, we set up this thing or whatever and whatever. Then we sell that to somebody else. The deal me and Bob had to promote it is separate. Like right, now you own it. If you want me to promote it a certain way, you have to pay me to promote it your way. Me and Bob had a deal already going. You are third party. See, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't necessarily know if I agree with that. Deals all the time. Yeah, but it, it, it depends it on. But here's the thing. Let's. But I got all the time. You cannot come listen, into listen. a third party slow deal down, and expect down, to get that same thing. Here's what always happens, and here's here's how we fuck up with business, right? Okay, yes, a lot of things happen, and a lot of us want don't understand that short term money does not equal long term success. So sometimes. Your payment is not money. Sometimes your payment is exposure. But if you like niggas think about shit, and that's white people and, and black people, niggas or, or, or a small mindset says, no, you're not. Put, 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 money, put money in my hand right now. Mm-hmm. And then some motherfuckers like, Shh, we ain't fucking with her because it's just like the mentality. So has she did business and has she thought about it more on a business standpoint and not, I, I, he got, Lee Daniels got money, I need to get more money. Well, she from Baltimore, so. Well, like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, it's, it's not good, just, good business it's with not talent. just that. Never that's go broke. Joke. Correct. No, no, good business. Correct. Good business and with I think she should have, has she, she should have did, uh-huh. she should have did the promotion. It wouldn't have been no big deal. And, and when I ever, I've heard her talk about it, she say, well, I messed my marriages up out before and my kids was young and I didn't want to go out pro- you, a, a fucking weekend you know you talking about a weekend to go promote some right, shit right, right, right. a movie that they gave you an Oscar for that you always say I got an Oscar I got an Oscar but you and didn't even want to fucking promote the thing. fucking movie <laughs> it's like she she flip flops when she want to do that's shit that's whole ugly attitude towards that situation and, and say, say we all come together as investors in a movie right we seen how Monique handled Precious and he, and, and 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 uh Bob, Bob says, let's get Monique for the lead. And Roxy says, I don't know. You That's saw, remember how she did that, 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 that. The negative energy's already bad. She messes up her relationships mm-hmm. by the stuff she says. So we got something. We like, mm, we don't even want to deal with her. Let's call Taraji because she's that good. But that speaks to people. Like, this happens in this Business. city a lot. No, this happens in this city a lot. And, I, and I've seen this and I, never, and I never do this. When someone tells me something bad about people, I never take that. Like I've never dealt with a certain thing well, like that. But no. what have you seen? No, you yeah, have no. we've seen an image. I have. I haven't met her in person. I haven't met her in person. I have so met her in person. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen a lot of things. I saw a bop on Facebook all the time. I didn't know the nigga until I stepped into a room with him. I ain't talking about no. I'm talking about business. What to do business? You don't know how she does business either. You haven't stepped into a room with her. I don't want to find out the details of the business, the behind the scenes shit. I believe she's talking about it. Yes. It's always, it's always, it's always, I think, I think the funny thing about that is that Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniel are like the holy trinity of black Hollywood, and you can't speak against them, so people are so shocked and awed that someone would say they shady. She said, suck my dick, Oprah. So? You don't tell Oprah to suck your dick. Exactly my point. Especially my point. People, 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 you can't talk bad about Oprah. Where is that? Where is that? Let me see that. Let me see that. That's crazy. I got a billy you want. That's what I think. I got a billy you I ain't got nothing between your legs. I think if it was different black people, people it's a bad would. business move. Hey, though. can I close, oh. a, close the topic? We are we even, no. the day. We, no. Are we even I, still on TV? No. Oh, we still Close the topic. What? <laughs> the picture the picture with Jay-Z at Jay-Z's brunch oh, with all these guys. Good point. What's their respe- responsibility to the black community? What you mean? With all the money? With all that money in that room, what's their responsibility? What's your thoughts they, on that? They, they're leading by example. Like, the fact that they... That's enough. Admit, 
What are they supposed to do? Jay Z giving a lot back to the black people. Yeah, I'm about to say he has a lot of money, but I feel like a couple of people. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like I had no stash. I had no stash. I had no stash yet. A lot of them are giving back to the cities they from. First of all, a lot of them are from Atlanta, so all their money is there. Yeah, that. Some of them are from Cali, with DJ Cali, all of that. So we start there. Their example to be together collectively and not counting each other's pockets is an example. Jay Z and Di- yeah, yeah, Di- Jay Z yeah. and Diddy, without a doubt, was the richest two in the in the in the, in the, I'm in easy, the pitch. Easy, but they but they was all together. They was all together. Nobody oh. backbiting all that. Mm. Same thing. You could say the same thing about Mariah and Beyonce, two queens of their industry. What no backbiting Mariah? Like bitch, I got Grammys. You got Grammys. We all we all famous around this bitch. Monica, the same thing. Probably the least. Relevant of them at this point. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is she's not the most, she's still a powerful singer, but what I'm saying for them to be in each other's presence it's without enough. any drama, without any hating. Like Atlanta is the example of how Baltimore should be. Communally right. building, collaboration. If we could do what they could do, yo, we could be them. Not on not exactly them, but we could be our variation of them. That's the example, the fact that they all together like that. Too much anger up here. Yeah. Everybody angry. Because everybody feel like if you get we money angry. first, I ain't gonna be nothing left for me later. Like first of all, yo, you you a rapper? I'm a business. But we talk about people who it was like they're in their household. If you ain't eating, what's gonna be nothing yeah. left later? That's how they grew up. Though. Yeah. But I just feel like that's the example. What more than it? They they are all philanthropists. They give away money a all lot. the time. But they yeah. they example of being together. And they're also involved. showing that you can come up from where you are. You don't have to say Hello, can we say I, that I, one more time? Love, for the people it. who feel like you got I me stuck it. in this mindset. Can you say it. that one more time? <laughs> say it one more time. <laughs> say it one more time for the world. Say it one more time for the world. All the people who came up. A, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To David to David Banner's credit. I watched him on a uh, little podcast one time. Matter of fact, he was on Vlad TV, an interview with Vlad TV. And he said, you know, he don't want to be remembered. Like you said, you'll be remembered for your, your music, your work. He doesn't want to be remembered for like a pimp. You feel me? And all, all that type of rah rah music and stuff like this. He wants to be remembered for helping the culture. And he said, all, all over that time where he had, you know, the South and all them, all, the, all those guys was making money, you know what I'm saying? They didn't use their money to anything positive for the culture altogether. So, yeah, you do your little helping and this and the third, which is perfect, you feel me? But, like, in rap, we're looking at two guys with, you feel me, a combined billion dollars, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I just think we definitely could get something bigger out of that, out of that, uh, out of that power. Because, you feel me, it was all bowing power that ultimately, and they're, they're good business, you feel me, but. You can say uh, the but, same thing about Oprah. To me, Oprah doesn't do enough for the black community. She does enough for Africa. She does enough for Africa. I mean, this is people's points, though. That what y'all just said, you know, they philanthropists, <coughs> they do stuff for their little neighborhood and this and that. Third. That's what I'm saying. Oprah together, collectively, just how they can come in a room and have a brunch together. They can collectively get a, get a school together. Get a hospital together. They can do big, bigger things. You know what I'm saying? I, I Just as much I as like what Roxy but, said, you feel me, how they grew up and everything in the same type of little positions that everyone else that watches them and listens to their music, how they came up, so can other people. I mean, I get what you're saying, but you can get out your situation too. There's no reason where you should feel stuck, but you blasting Jay-Z and everything else like that. He was a dope boy and got about it too. So now he doing? He's a family Yeah, man. everybody, like you have that same motivation. Like you can't sit around and listen to these dudes 24 7 and not feel motivated to get out your situation because they was in the exact same situation as you so why do you feel like you are not better like like why you're not good enough to get out that situation that's a jewel right there they might not have put the money they might not have put the money in it but they put it they put some 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 things definitely on full full and even about the schools (laughs) and the hospitals they try to block oprah from building a school it makes you think they're going to be so anxious to let jay-z build a school they they They, they they didn't want oprah to build a school they they didn't even want her to build schools in africa they didn't want her to do any of that. So how easy do you think they're going to make it for Jay-Z? I don't his really want to talk about easy. Like, if, if stuff not easy, what you doing is you so doing what something. So what you want the Obamas to do now that they got off? Come back. Keep on doing it. Yes, what are they doing? I miss you. You want, to, you want everybody? So you don't want them to continue to build a community? They, they was doing things before. Before that, they, before yeah. Before they, before they, they got off. They they doing, they're, they're pretty online with what they do. What do they do? <laughs> Oh, okay. They doing. They got the Obama Foundation now. <laughs> they do big stuff. Stop the plan. Also, Obama. they got the Obama. No, I'm talking about her. Oh. I can't say that. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, I just really want to know. Is. I'm just curious. It's like a real life question. 
They well, I don't know. I don't definitely know. Definitely in Chicago. I mean, I feel like Chicago is the most city that's really getting love. They got Chance the Rapper, got the Obama. So we need somebody in our city. So what Monique doing for us right now? But y'all always telling me that people should get successful and leave. Baltimore. This is what y'all told me. To bring so, it back. so if I make a hundred million dollars, I should say fuck y'all and get out, right? You can leave to build it up. No what? Up. Just because you leave don't mean you can't give back. Why? Y'all telling me get out because yeah, this is my get out. That's the problem right there. When people make it, they gone. They y'all gone. just supported. Y'all just told me creep boys, beat boys. Yeah, they, they, they went down Atlanta. Down Atlanta. That's the situation. Is good. That situation is good for them. They gotta go make music. They can't be. Um, what are they? If their their mission is not to be sitting helping anybody, they're working. What are you talking about? I'm so telling you, they got away. They got away in a better working environment. Dollars, they got you a better working environment. Make, they don't make a million dollars, so let's. I mean, no, I'm saying if I but that's not hypothetical with Creek Boys. No, I'm just saying if I make a hundred million dollar fund, I make it and I retire from business. Why I need to come back to Baltimore? Y'all told me get out. This environment ain't for me. Get out, dude. But but do you make some? Real change here for what? You told me position? get out. Why would I need to come back? You told me get out. Man, Baltimore's one of the only cities where they'll murder you for trying to do something. To I mean, but do you talking, think my, my point was talking to the young guys getting killed on the streets hustling? And when you oh, make your music, when you make your music about hustling, you should be safe somewhere in Atlanta oh. and not actually on the streets after you didn't drop the track on the corner where somebody can find I you. I mean, look at Scooter. How do people stay in touch with you? Yes. Um, starring Roxy, starring that Roxy with two eyes on Instagram. I'll probably be changing that soon, but yeah. <laughs> For now, <laughs> that's who I am. Bob, Bob Hunter on the Facebook, no chill underscore Bob on uh, IG. You gotta simplify this. Mickey Jones on Facebook and Mickey underscore Bands on Instagram. I like when she say Bands. I like the way bands. her lips. I like the way her lips. Mickey Bands. <laughs> like Don- <laughs> <laughs> like Leo Grand Prince <laughs> on oh um. God. IG, Jamal Vitos on Twitter and it's, um, Facebook. I'm about to say Instagram. Take a friend to the doctor's day. Take That's a friend it. to the doctor's yes. week. Take your vitamins. Go ahead. Get them to the free clinic. Get 15, them balls 15, checked out. <laughs> Whatever free clinics we got. You feel me? Google those. I'm in a late. Get them balls checked. <laughs>